Now, yesterday, when I was working with this thing, and probably some of you even saw it happen, I was bending these little parts over. Now, because I'm going to have to do a lot of handling of this part to get the railing on, uh, that we're going to be working on today, all being well. Uh, I've got an idea here. Get my glasses on so I can see. If I was to put this thing in a box that had sides come up about as high as the, a little higher than these things are, then there'd be, I could grab the box. Okay, so what do we got here? So if I make it Okay, so the inside would have to be four. Now that's four inches. Now remember, I've, I've mentioned this before. I'm an old North American, so I'm going to be thinking in feet and inches. It just it's just easier for me. Now, I would say uh, if I was to make it two and three quarters, would that fit, or is that a little bit too tight? Whoops, careful, Ron. No, nope. two and three quarters. Okay, now I'd want it sitting just a little bit higher than, than this. Is. So I'll make it uh, be very, very careful. Well, you notice right here I got to repaint. There's a little bit of photo etch glinting through there. All right. So if I make it uh see that would be 8 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. Anyway, let's let's go down to the workshop and see if we can make a little box. Everything's exactly the way I left it last time I was here. And it better be, I'm the only one in the house. Okay, so 13 sixteenths is the height of the little fence that's going to go around this thing. Uh, don't tell me I've forgotten how to use this now.
all likelihood if I had have not been videoing this little workshop segment, I probably would have not used my push stick. Now I'm not recommending not using the push stick, but there was lots of room that I probably could have got my fingers down in between the blade and the fence and held on to the little piece and I would have had a lot better control of it when it came loose. Uh, however, um, yeah, as I've said so many times, keep your eye on the blade and you won't stick your finger in the blade. Didn't I just say that a moment ago too? Now let's assume that I had 700 views for this episode. If I had have used my fingers, I would have received 701 comments, all to the effect of, that was not safe. Okay, the one dimension is got to be see how long is this all right so I'm going to have to we want a two and three quarters and this is half inch plywood so I want to make it three and three quarters I'm going to make two of these three and three quarters Okay. Now, that's approximately three and three quarters. Uh, measure twice, cut once. That doesn't look right. No, it wasn't right. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, now in all likelihood, because I'm going to be cutting off just a little smidgen here, this little piece I'm going to cut off is, could possibly jam and come flying back. So when I push the push it through the blade here, I'm going to want to be standing off to the side because it'll probably go that way and I'll be that way. At least that's the plan. Now this doesn't have to be pretty here, it only has to be approximate.
Hey Ron, your saw's still running. Okay, now the reason I went through it twice is because if I had have gone through it just once, it would have been almost the exact size to have jammed between the edge of the blade here and, and uh, the slot. So uh, yeah, that's why I went through twice. Anyway, let's go upstairs and glue this together. I think my hot glue gun is upstairs. And we'll leave everything the way it is until next time I come down here. Mike need this. Okay, our hot glue gun is warming up here. And I think I better get this photo itch put away before I have a little accident. Now speaking of photo etch, I got to tell you a, a slick tip that one of the viewers gave me. Yeah, I can see it starting to run out there, so I think we're ready to glue. Okay, as I mentioned down in the workshop, this does not have to be fancy. Or go to a whole lot of work here, make sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah, I think that'll be all right. Not a whole lot of room widthwise. Now I don't want to be getting this on my green cloth. Well, that wasn't very centered, was it? Okay. Oh, I did get a little bit on the cloth there. This doesn't have to be super strong. It just has to not fall apart while I'm handling it, that's all. All right.
Okay, now how do we keep it from rattling around in there when I'm, you know, twisting it around? Um, I had been thinking of maybe a little bit of blue tack, but uh, I'm afraid it could suddenly let go when I'm maybe holding it at, at an angle and it dumps out and breaks something off. Um, I think maybe a double-sided tape might be best just along the bottom edge and a, it doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Okay, because the because the fence or the railing we're going to be putting on will be at this end, I think we want as much clearance. Mind you, it's, it's proud of this anyway, so it'll it'll fit. Okay. Ta-da! Now you remember I said I got a little bit of hot glue on my cloth here. Well, this this is it. I don't know if I can get that out of there without making a hole or. Maybe a pair of tweezers. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll just sort of push it in. I think it'll be okay. Okay, now about our railing that we nipped off yesterday. Uh, yeah, we've got to paint this gray. And I had been talking about using the Steinle res. But if you will remember, the last time we used the Steinle res, we had a bit of a problem. It just, for some reason, did not want to spray right. And I was reading comments that went to the effect of, well, when Steinle res gets old, it's notorious for uh, not spraying good. So... We'll just see how it goes. It's, I mean, this isn't that old. It's a, it, you know, we got it when? Back when we started the Bismarck, so that would be a year and a half or so. So it can't be that old. Now, I remember yesterday when we were trying to get number 47 here, and I accidentally started cutting along the tabs for number 43. Now, if you remember we cut these tabs right here and we of course we weren't supposed to but as it turns out that's going to be a bit of a bonus because one of the viewers made a comment and he gave me a tip and he says that when he wants to spray his railings or something like this he will leave some of the tabs now let's, let's just try this i think it, instead of talking about it i'll just i'll just go ahead and do it Try and get this up. Get it loose off the sticky paper. Now, what he said he does is he just bends, bends his railing up. Oh, I don't want to get it kinked. Okay, so he bends it up at, a, at an angle like this. Now, now I imagine the, the best way to do it would be uh, to think ahead which tabs you're going to take off. And I would probably leave the tabs at what I felt was the bottom of the railing. And that way when you spray the top, you catch the little places where, where, the, uh, uh, where, the, where the tab had left a little mark or was still on, you know, like what I'm talking about. So, maybe I could do this better with my thumb. Well, that is so delicate. Okay, now the idea is that you leave it, you leave it stuck like that. Maybe I'll turn it at a bit of an angle, maybe you can see it better.
Okay. So then you take a piece of masking tape and you could cover easily, very quickly and easily, cover everything up. And then, then you would be able to spray this from both sides. You could spray it from this side, you spray it from this side, and of course you'd, you'd get the top. Then when you lay it back down, very carefully of course, then you just cut the other tabs. And voila! Your railing is painted for you, or whatever, you know, you could do it with something like this too if you wanted to. Okay, what I did was I bent our railings into sort of a curve. So that they're going to, you know, want to stand up all by themselves, no matter what you put them on. Especially if you put them on the sticky masking tape. Now, I don't have what I would call a dilemma on my hands, but it's sort of a decision that I have to make right now. And, um, and that is this. Now this sheet and this sheet are 100% railing. And we can do them the same way we did the railing for the Bismarck. I might even soak them in the ultrasonic bath. Uh, but of the other remaining five sheets, only this one here, does not have any railing. Okay, all the others have railing of different lengths and in some cases different different heights even. Um, custom custom railing, which is which is going to be kind of nice. So what do I do? Do I use uh, uh, D's idea of of bending them up like we already started this one here? Do I do I just go through all the sheets, bend them up, mask everything up, and maybe try and get the Steinle res to work here and uh, I'm kind of leaning towards that idea right now uh, and that way I don't need to uh, you know fight with the Steinle res and the airbrush uh, a whole bunch of times I just do it once and get it over with um, I think maybe that's the thing to do now now that what I did notice though was when I tried to put this sheet back into its plastic sleeve the railing does not go all the way back down. It doesn't stick back down on the on the paper that's underneath there that you can't see. But um, I mean, I mean, uh, sticky sticky paper. Or, anyway, this stuff. <sighs> yeah. What do I do here? Okay, I realized that I made it sound like I was all upset and didn't know what to do and I was making a mountain out of a molehill here and I was about to give myself a stroke or something and I don't want to give that impression. I am actually enjoying myself today. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just methodically go through each sheet and, and find the railing. Um, like I was talking about different sizes. Okay. Uh, this one is smaller than this one, and this one is smaller than this one. Uh, they are of different heights, uh, which, which I think is going to be great. It's going to be, remember when we were doing the Bismarck, we were trying to uh, cut railing down. Uh, I think I was using some railing out of uh, uh, <clears throat> that model that Tony had sent us, and you know, to find short railing. And So this is going to be a lot better. I'm just going to have to go through this. I'm going to, I'm going to take uh, 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 these uh, idea and uh, I'm going to uh, just go through it like I like I say uh, in other words uh, thanks for watching and all being well we'll see you tomorrow